For advanced lizard keepers, a fantastic opportunity is to work with the frilled dragon. Wow, to build a tall vivarium with a lot of hardwood in it, straight up and down is how these guys sleep. I like to grab onto their piece of wood at night and just lay there. This is an unbelievable conversation piece in your home or office to have a frilled dragon. As opposed to our bearded dragon, which are very, very common, frilled dragons in captivity are not. So you really got to be someone who knows what he's doing in order to make one of these happy. They get all of three feet though from tip of the nose to the tip of the tail. So you need a very large vivarium and you'll also need a variety of food items. But they're straight insectivores when they're babies and then meat eaters when they're older. So frilled dragons are something that, again, 30 years ago, we never would have dreamed to see something like this in the marketplace. But now, here's a little captive bred baby from a breeder, and that's the way to go. We like to talk about captive bred animals. Nobody wants to take an animal from the wild that is as precious as a frilled dragon. He's not cooperating on his frill. I'll just give you a little idea what it looks like. Some of them have beautifully colored frills as well, like this one here. The frilled dragon, awesome, awesome creature in nature and in captivity, long lived and uh, calmed down with handling to make interesting subjects in your terrarium, in your collection.